What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally finishing up uh, the S2000. I ordered some parts. Uh, we finally got in like the grill, a handful of other things I got, uh, all the accessories like the badges and stuff like that. I wanna show you guys what I did already um, as far as blacking out the badges because I'm not gonna go plastic dip that route. I'm gonna go more of a gloss look. So I'm gonna put the finishing touch on the S2K and uh, get this thing finished. All right, so here she is. She's been in storage because obviously I do not have the room to keep her back home. So uh, today we're gonna go through, look at some of the new parts, kind of get everything fit up. I'm not sure because this is the grill and this is supposed to go here, obviously. Uh, it did not come with any hardware though, so I'm not sure if it's just gonna pop in with tabs. We got the lip, which is, that's gonna be a joke in itself. A couple other miscellaneous parts just to put some finishing touches on the car. And then obviously the plan is to go with full black emblems, like I said. So this was one that I did. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it very well. There's not too much light. But uh, this one ended up coming out more like a flat black, which is not really what I wanna go for for the car, I think. Because if I want to do flat back and want to do something easy, then I'd literally just do Plasti Dip. But I'm thinking about going for more of a gloss look um, with all the emblems and everything. So, um, as you can see, this is just a random Civic badge, but it doesn't look too bad. I think black emblems are going to look a lot better, especially doing the S2000 badge on the side with the new um, side markers that we put in last time. And then we need to go in the inside because the radio was not working as well. So I'm gonna fix a few minor things, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull her outside because it's actually somehow a nice breezy day in Florida. It's not 95 degrees outside. That was almost bad. I guess the first thing I should install is this because I almost just ran it over just now. Uh, luckily this car is not uh, low yet. And <laughs> that would have been really bad. So I'm gonna go ahead, I mean, I'm not gonna bore you with this, but I'm just gonna see if I can pop this thing into place and uh, see how it looks. All right, so it's not fitting the worst, but it's definitely not fitting the best. I'm seeing there's like these little tabs here, as you can see, it's kind of like a peg. And everything's kind of lining up, but it's nothing seamless. And it's kind of like you try to adjust it on one side and it moves or flexes on the other. It's not really fitting in these corners too well. I'm wondering if I can just get clips for these because right now it just seems like one, you know, one wrong move. You hit something and this is just going to pop right out. It doesn't feel secure at all. So I'm definitely not going to drive with it like this, but it does look better. It looks more complete in the front end. And speaking of front end, there's two more things right here that we can do real quick. So you'll notice right here, we have these really ugly double holes on both sides. We don't live in California, thankfully. So we don't need to have a front license plate. So instead of actually putting something here, Honda makes these clips. If you're looking for the part number, it's right here. They're supposed to plug the holes. If I can pop them in real quick. Oh yeah. Uh, it doesn't look too odd. I guess it looks better than just having the screw holes. It looks more like it's part of the bumper or it's for some kind of accessory. Yeah, I think that looks better than having the nose holes. And I think it looks a lot cleaner. These straighten out a little bit. But yeah, these look good, especially when this is actually plugged and actually has an emblem on it. I think it's gonna come together really nice. All right, so to finish off the front end, we get this awful samurai lip, which is just a $20 lip you can buy on Amazon. I was looking for lips and I just don't like the ones that come up and cover this actual parts of the paint. So I went ahead and got this just to see how it fit. So let's do a little test for and see how this actually looks on this thing. All right, so I tried to mock it up the best I could without actually physically installing it. And honestly, it's not awful. I mean, it actually looks kind of good on camera. It almost looks like it's actually installed, but you can see there's the 3M tape and you're supposed to screw it in as well to give it kind of extra security. I really didn't think it was actually gonna fit because it's just kind of weird, especially when you're doing contours on a bumper. Like, I could never do it on this because not only you have this curve, but then it would get shorter and it would be thicker in some parts. And I think it was, or it would be really skinny here and it would be thicker here. But um, I guess on this bumper, you see it's not even secured right here, but 
it really doesn't look that bad. It looks like a $25 lip or $20 lip or whatever, but, and I guess if you only had $20 to spend on a lip, not that you should be buying a lip for $20, but it's really, it's not awful. I mean, personally, I don't like it. We're gonna remove it and go with a different lip. I just don't, don't like I said, I don't like the ones that are coming up on this, but maybe I'll test a few more out, see how they look, but I don't know. It's not that bad. So I'm just gonna finish a few more things up. I do wanna clean up this on the back to show you before. This is all dirty, which this doesn't matter. It's not like, you know, leaving a little bit. Like I can still see, you can see that. I can see the S2000, like where the logo is still supposed to be. So I can mark that off the tape and clean it up tomorrow before the new adhesive and the uh, logo goes back on. Cause I am using the original ones. Cause a pair, a pair of these, I was mistaken in my last video. I was, I was like, oh, they're like 60 bucks. It's like $90 just to get a pair of those. So definitely gonna be using the old ones and we're definitely gonna be spraying it just to give it a nicer look. Um, and we're gonna go with the gloss black. Last thing I wanna mess with is radio. All right, so here I was thinking, you know, I had some major problem like, oh, I didn't, um, uh, or I tripped some kind of anti-theft thing or it's because I took the radio part or because I did the SRS system or something, but literally <laughs> I was like, oh, I, I know I plugged it in. I know I plugged it in. I plugged in the antenna, but I didn't plug in the wiring harness. <laughs> so I'm open, I'm assuming if I just plug her right back in real quick. All right, so we set it back where it's supposed to be. I'm gonna be replacing this anyways, but I wanted to make sure that this all worked because if the radio system's dead and uh, I put in a new radio, the new one's not gonna work either. Power. Code, I gotta go find out um, what the anti-theft code is. I have it written down somewhere. All right, I believe it is five, four, five, two. Oops. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna try and reset this so that I don't do too many codes or something. Five, four, two. Boom. Okay. Did we hear something? Yep, we got audio. So, oh, this is just, this thing's just ancient. Okay. Well, the radio works, so that's nice. And uh, we're definitely gonna be doing uh, the upgraded module. A buddy of mine had an S2K, a beautiful S2K with about a quarter of the miles I have on this thing. And um, unfortunately totaled it. So he's got some parts laying around. So we're gonna get that S2000 radio. And we're gonna start painting the emblems. So I will see you guys then. All right, so I'm not gonna bore you with this whole process. It's really, really simple. Uh, yes, I'm wearing gloves because the oil's in your fingers, but uh, I'm gonna make this a separate tutorial, but basically this is what they look like beforehand. They're obviously the silver. We're not gonna be using plastic dip. We're gonna be using gloss spray paint so we can get a gloss effect, not the matte, because I really don't like the way that looks. So we're gonna sand them down a little bit, uh, clean them completely off, and then uh, begin to spray. So this is before and after. These came out really, really nice. Uh, the 2000s and the S's actually look really good, almost zero imperfections. Uh, the 1H that was the OEM one came out pretty nice too, but I did get miss some spots right here on this edge. So I'm gonna hit it again, and then this one was starting to bubble, just acting a little weird. So I'm gonna completely respray this, and then we're gonna put them on the car. All right, so the emblems are all painted. Now it's just gonna be simply putting some adhesive on there. Like I said, I'm making a tutorial about this. So I'm not gonna go too in depth but it's just basic 3M uh, exterior attachment tape. So it's supposed to be waterproof and it's supposed to be very thin. So it should hold the emblem, should be close to the OEM fitment, shouldn't stick out too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and then uh, we're gonna put these on the car.
Check this out. So much of a difference. I think finally with all the badges and everything, uh, it really kind of brings the car together. Let me get some light real quick. I tried to do it as factory as possible. I ended up leaving a lot of the glue just so I could do them relatively straight. It's not crooked right now. I'm just holding the camera a little crooked, but um, they did have a little bit of an like ascending and descending on the opposite side, but um, they ended up looking pretty straight. I'm really happy with how the actual paint turned out. I really wish that I finished it quicker because we're really out of light, but all of them look really, really good. Looks so much better than the silver. And I think the white with the black contrast just looks really, really good. I think it really brings the look of the car together. It almost looks like it's finished. So now we got, we did the grill, we did the badges, which that was, uh, took a little bit longer than what I had thought. I didn't get to get the radio, uh, which I am going to be getting, but cars finally has its temp tags, which means the inspection is less than 10 days away. So this will have an official plate and be on the road. I know I made it seem like I was gonna be finishing the car today and I kinda did more or less, like the car is done. There's always infinite things you're gonna have to do on a project. Uh, I plan on doing the radio. Uh, we're actually getting a new convertible top. If you haven't seen any of the previous videos. I'm not gonna put it up all the way, but the top is in really, really rough shape. Obviously that is a, we call it a horizontal surface, whereas vertical surfaces are the last to fade in cars and uh, horizontal surfaces obviously take a lot of wear. Uh, this was, the car came out of South Carolina, so it's not like it's really dealt with the Florida heat, but the Florida heat's definitely not helping it now. So definitely gonna be ordering an OEM top and that should pretty much wrap up this car. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, go ahead and drop a like down below. Consider subscribing to the channel. I am going to be doing a some kind of giveaway soon, so not sure what you guys want. Obviously, everybody just wants money, so probably something along the lines of some Amazon gift cards, AutoZone, whatever you guys want. So uh, I'm gonna be announcing that on my Instagram, so don't forget to follow me at Irvine Garage. Uh, that will have all the updates on the giveaway and uh, updates on new videos, stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.